And some of those Stop Cop City organizers held a news press conference today addressing the protest resulting in multiple arrests and the damage to two downtown banks. News for Tucson's Gabrielle Parrish is downtown live and she was at that news conference. And Gabrielle, please tell us what did they have to say about what the damage was done to these banks and why? Sean, I was at that news conference and they say that a Wells Fargo executive is in favor of a facility that will support militarizing police. They also say that PNC Bank was damaged by protesters because it supports the Mountain Valley Pipeline. Now, the area that I'm standing in is an empty lot where Stop Cop City organizers held their national summit. And as you can see, this is an empty lot and there was graffiti all over those walls, but has since then been painted over just today because again i was here earlier and there were graffiti all over these walls and this location is where the bum steer restaurant used to be located off of stone and in between grand speedway during today's news conference they wanted to make sure those points were known the group traveled here from atlanta this is video of the facility that the group calls cop city once it's completed we hear it will provide military training and pol for police and firefighters Organizers say since the 2020 George Floyd protest, the so-called cop cities are appearing across the nation. Police announced that there were three arrests today, like Eric Fink said, um, that included Ariel Villalobos, Gabriel Parks, and Hassan Hassan. Protesters said during today's news conference that things got a little intense after they went to go check on the protesters that were arrested. After walking over to speak with the sergeant on duty to inquire about the location of a person taken into custody, whose name and date of birth we provided, we were aggressively told to leave and then surrounded by three squad cards and questioned. Tucson police are released a statement in part. Their actions resulted in significant damage and endangered both property and lives, including throwing incendiary devices into a occupied building. News 4 Tucson will have more information on the Stop Cop City situation that happened here in Tucson. Reporting live from Midtown, I'm Gabrielle Parrish, News 4 Tucson. Thank you.